I've made it back to the Tidal Basin in Washington, D.C. And today, I'm gonna be hunting with some giant 10 pound snakeheads. It's gonna be epic. We made it. This is where dreams are made and broken. Sat an hour and a half in traffic, carried 60 pounds of gear a mile distance, but we made it. We're here, let's get fishing. Going old school today. Last time I was here, I caught smallies, largies, gar, carp, but I couldn't get any of those darn snakehead to bite. So, just went to the bait store, got some beautiful, look at these guys. These shines are going crazy on me. All right, let's grab one of these guys. Let's get in there. Oh, whoa, where's my bobber? Oh, I got a fish on. Second cast. There he is. Got him. What do we got here? I wasn't even looking. Oh, yeah. All right, starting the day off. Second cast. What is this? Is this a... That snake in second cast? I know it's a bass. Dang, this guy's a fighter. These river fish are out of control. Oh, it's a bronzy. Oh, come here, buddy. There we go. That's not oh, not a bad way to start the morning. Beautiful smallmouth right here. Hooked him right where I wanted to. Look at that. Top of the lip. That's a good sign for today. This is literally the most urban spot where thousands of people walk by every single day. Gets a lot of fishing pressure, but new fish always coming and going from the Potomac River. And I'm hoping one of those big snakeheads come by. All right, see you later, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, guys. That one pound smallie fights just as hard as a three pound pond largey. Absolutely incredible how strong they are. Shiner number two. And I adjusted my bobber after the first cast. I tried to make the leader a little bit shorter. I just feel like the active fish is gonna be a little higher in the water column. Let's get back in there. All right, round number two, going in. Oh, dang it. Oh boy, that might've killed that Shiner. My bad, buddy. Is he still alive? Uh, he's yeah, he's dead. I'll just make one cast just for the, just for good measure. Dang, one hit KO. My bad. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Just dropped it down. All right, he's rounding with it. Tighten the drag. Let's see what we got here. Yep, he's on. Oh, it's big. Oh no, it's not. Not big. <laughs> it was stuck. It was a uh, snag, guys. All right, it's fish number two. I actually have not got a bite on the live bait in 20 minutes. So what I did is actually set up a little Carolina rig. Got a little smallie. So uh, right now I got a uh, three quarter ounce sinker. I'm just fishing this on the bottom. And the uh, conditions actually aren't really ideal for live bait because the water's too murky right now. So let's see if I can uh, make something happen. I'll just put this right back in the corner. Hopefully something big comes by next. Make sure the drag's nice and loose. I don't want my rod flying off into the uh, into the depths of the tidal basin. There we go. Ooh, that's about a good as good of a cast as I can get. Right in the corner. Hope there's a fish there. Oh, that's a big hit right here. This down. Oh, yep, he's got it. He's got it. He's around it. Oh, he's around. It's big. Oh, it's big. It's big. It's giant. Oh my god. Holy crap. Holy crap. What is this? What is this? Tighten the drag. Tighten the drag. Keep pressure. Oh yes. Yes. I don't know what this is, guys, but it's huge. It's a freaking monster. Nope. Nope. Come on. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. What the hell is this, guys? Get my net ready. This is what I brought the net for. Okay, here we go. Right in the corner, oh my gosh. It's a huge fish. What do we got? What do we got here? Oh, I need my net, I need my net. I need my net. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, no, down, too much pressure. He's on there, he's on there. All right, it's big, it's big. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I got my net, I got my net. Okay, come on, come on, baby. Come to daddy. Come here. Oh, yes. 
Oh, it's huge. What is this? Wait, is it catfish? Don't tell me this is a big catfish. Don't tell me this is a big catfish. Oh my God, it's a giant catfish, guys. Dang it. I thought it was a snakehead. Come here, baby. Come here. All right. I got you. I got you, baby. Ah. Whoo. All right, guys. Ah. There it is. This is a blue catfish, I believe. Middle of the day. Fun fight. Not what we're looking for. Let you go, buddy. All right. Ah. Get out of here. Let go of my grippers. You gotta let go, buddy. There you go. Off he goes. Is he all right? Just chilling. Huh. Oh, there, there he goes. All right, we're good. <sighs> Dang it. Thought for sure that was gonna be a giant predator fish. Oh man, that thing just ran like a freaking mule. All right, next fish. Next fish is gonna be a giant snakehead or a giant bass. I can feel it. Let me show you guys uh, what kind of rig I'm running right here. So I've got a 10 pound braid, a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader, half ounce tungsten weight, BPS Carolina Keeper. So that makes it uh, really quick and simple to tie a Carolina rig. And then I've got a Gamagatsu weedless wacky hook, which is actually used for Senkos. But uh, when I went to the bait store today, I either had a choice between the cheap Eagle Claw hooks, which I guarantee if I was using that hook right now, I would have lost that catfish, it would have bent the hook out completely. So, here are the hooks that I use right here. These hooks do not bend at all, very, very strong. And all you gotta do is clip off the weed guard on them, then uh, you're good to go. So, anytime you're fishing for big fish, make sure your terminal tackle is not gonna fail you. Otherwise, you're gonna get heartbroken. All right, get back down there. Get me a snakehead. Let's go. Right there, that's the spot. That's the magic spot right there. Looks like a little bass hitting this guy. See if he wants to eat it. He's on it. He got it. There we go. Oh yeah. This feels like a decent bass. Let's see what we got. Oh, another smolly. Ah, there we go. Oh, biggest smolly of the day. Come here, buddy. Whew. That's a pretty fish. I think, oh, he's been caught before, too. Catch and release, guys. Tidal basin, plenty of life. All right. Go tell your snakehead buddies I'm coming. I'm coming for him. I wonder how many fish we can catch out of one corner. Every fish caught today, I think has come out of there except for the very first fish. Will this be the legendary snakehead cast? We shall find out. I know they're in here. I know it. All right. Whew, come on. Come on. Snakehead, baby. Oh, oh, there's one. Psych. Snag. It's moving. Holy crap, what is this? What the hell? Whatever it is, it's moving. Oh, it came off. This is a prize catch. Alright, well, this is my this is what I live for right here. Pulling stuff out of the river. Let's go ahead and see what kind of junk this line is connected to. And he's fishing about 80 pound braid. Very nice. Oh, let's check it. Let's see what people are throwing. A big shad with a giant snap swivel, way too big. And we've got a black and white, or a brown and white jig. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish right here. Here we go. Is he running? Oh, he's running. Let's tighten the drag a little bit. And set the hook on him. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. No, oh, you can't get bored of fighting smallies, guys. Even if it's not your tar targeted fish. I can't believe there's so many fish. I mean, it's like every, it's like clockwork. Every 15 minutes, this corner refills with some type of fish. Come here, buddy. Uh, this might be the biggest of the day, to be honest. Oh, these fish are so acrobatic. It's amazing. Done fighting? 
Yeah, you're done. Every hook set's perfect, right in the corner. <sighs> Let's let you go. All right. Oh yeah, he's biting. He's biting hard. Man, this guy's mean. Oh, let's play him. I gotta, I gotta work my weighing skills. They're a little off. 1.75. That's what I'm giving this guy. 1. Uh, yeah, 1.75. I think it might be a little over, to be honest. Yeah, 1.65. 1.63. Slightly over still. Ow! Damn, this guy is freaking vicious. Biting the hell out of my hand. Are right, you ready to go, buddy? Nice free meal. Let's examine you. Ow! Okay, yeah, you're out of here. Jeez, look at this. Freaking drew blood. That's from a smallmouth bass. Holy moly. Mean river fish out here. What up, bro? Big fan. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Good to meet you. What's yeah. your name? Cody. Cody, I've all been right. Since a few thousand subscribers. What? No yeah. way. How many? Like a few? Probably like was, 10. Did I, was I living in Maryland or was I living somewhere else? I think you were in Ohio when I first started watching. That, but oh, you're right. I, I was at a few thousand. I really subscribed once you started coming back to Maryland. Gotcha. Fishing. Gotcha. You said your first time fishing here? No. Uh, we'll see if we can get you on a fish. Hey, you know what causes this? My line Let's see. keeps like getting stuck up in here. Oh, really? Uh, you got you to untangle it. I mean, that's a good that's a good reel right there. So you shouldn't have any problems. Yeah, I got it there. It's like the second. Oh, I, I think I do know what's causing it actually. So uh, yeah, you just get out the. Yeah, let me see it. Actually, I, let me take a look at this real quick. So the reason why your line's getting caught in there. So I'll show you. I know exactly why. I I believe. So see when I see that? Yeah. You don't want your spool to be moving like that. That's why it's getting caught there. So you gotta adjust the tension knob. So how I have every every reel of mine set is I have it so the tension knob is set so that it's just just enough that it doesn't wobble at all. So I'm gonna just get it right for you. So now you won't have that problem at all. So well my GoPro battery just died and what you guys missed is all my gear just got wet. The tide just came up like a rocket. You see all this was dry just 20 minutes ago. Now, it's, I think it's still coming up. It should be about high tide right now. So I'm thinking in about half an hour, when it starts moving again, things should start popping off. See if I can get this unsnagged. Yes, oh, I got it. Holy crap, and there's a fish on it. Oh, that's what it is, dude. That's what it keeps grabbing my bait and diving in and getting me snagged. Freaking eel. What happened to you, Shiner? Yeah, go, go grab as many as you need. I got plenty of shiners. You know what we might do? I might keep this and use this as bait. Well, guys, this is literally the nastiest thing you'll ever catch out of the river. Minus a dead body. You could catch one of those, but this eel is extremely disgusting and very hard to handle. Whew, calm down, buddy. Calm down. No, don't twist. The way they twist, look at that. He's going 360. I need to kill this guy. I'm going to be using him as bait when we run out of shiners. I'm going to cut this guy up and use him for catfish, but that was my last small hook. I'm going to do a little surgery right here to retrieve it. Jesus, dude. I need to kill this guy. We got to get him still. All right, bye, buddy. See you later. <laughs> All right. That the eel is now subdued, so I can now... Oh, my God. Look at my arm. Look at that slime. He slimed me everywhere. It's absolutely disgusting. But now I can get my hook back, I think. Ah, damn, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Oh, check it guys. They call me one scalpel, one lab coat, surgery. Right here. This is how you retrieve a hook that you need. We got it. All right, I got three rods. I'm gonna set one of them up with uh, some eel chunks. We'll go for them big blues, see what happens. Oh, is that you? Oh, snap! You actually... You got him? Oh, no! <laughs> you still have him? No, no dang. Him. Man, you got, you got owned by that tree. Yeah. Dang, that was a good pull, too. Ooh, first bite we've had in like an hour. The tide is uh, finally starting to go down, so as the water's moving, that's when the fish start biting. Oh, that's the catfish. Mr. Catfish moving. Yeah. Oh, he's on it. Yeah, he's on it. Yep. Oh. Is he on it? He's on it. <laughs> there we go. He's on. On the eel. Something big. No! It broke off on the side of the rock. Damn it, dude. 
shit. Ah. <laughs> All right. Uh, probably catfish, but still, you never know until you see it. So what happened there, guys? My line is plenty strong, but when it rubbed up against this abrasive rock right here, it just snapped like a twig. There we go. All right. Temp number two on the eel, chunky eel. You know, I'm going back in there, going, getting down and dirty. And hopefully this time I can pull, as soon as I get a bite, I'm gonna set the hook and pull the fish out from the, uh, under the bridge. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. This guy's moving. It's on the shiner. He's on, he's on. What do we got here? All right. No, oh, he's on, he's on. Oh, no, no. There, there's something different, dude. It's fighting different. The trees. What the heck? The tree there. Dude. No, that one felt completely different than any other fish I caught today. Dang, it was definitely not a smallie. Definitely not a catfish. Gosh, I think, dude, I think that was a snakehead. Is that a snakehead or a gar? Damn. I need to set the hook harder, I think. If it's a snakehead, they have really bony mouths. You really got to get a good hook set in. Whoa. Oh, that's a giant snake. Did you see that? That's a damn big snake right there. Dude. That that's probably about a 10 pound snakehead right there. They're here. They're here. That's what we need. That is the fish we're going after right there. Alright. That's a good sign. Like I get the bobber, so I think I might be alright. I'm just trying to let it drift a little bit. Oh, you're getting hit? Or is that mine? Oh no, you got to the drag! Is he still on? It's done? You got him? It's snack. Oh, okay, okay. It might have been an eel dragon. Oh, it's on? What do you got? Something big. Something big? Oh, yes. Oh, All right, take I'm your time, take your time. I feel his head shaking. You feel it? Oh, is it stuck still? No, I think, I don't know if it's stuck or it's coming. Hell yeah, dude. Take your time with it. What we got? Your first fish out of here, what's it gonna be? It's nice, whatever it is. Yeah? Oh, it's an eel! It's a giant eel! <laughs> Dude, that thing's a monster! <laughs> what the? Oh, you got him? Actually, I don't want that in my net. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we don't want that. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> All right, that, that's pretty typical of uh, of this area. First fish out of here. That's a, that's a big ass eel. We'll keep it for bait in case I need to use it. I want to touch it. Yeah, is the hook still in it? Yeah. All right. There's a mallet over there. Another mallet? Where? Crab. Oh, the crab mallet? Oh, give me the crab mallet. That'll do. Oh, dude, this, this is so tidy. I don't think this is going to be able to kill him. <laughs> the, oh, my gosh. She, she hands me a... Yeah, this is, I know. I think we can get him. All right. The, this, the, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> All right, I think... Is he dead? This is inhumane. I think we got him. Sorry you had to see that. What are you doing? This is an eel. We're going to use it as bait. We're going to use it to catch a big fish. Uh, oh, I got bit. Oh, snap. Getting bit? Let's see. Just casted it out. Let's check it out. Oh, he's on it. Tighten this drag up. All right, let's see if I can land something. Oh, snap. Get that rod for me, dude. The white one. Oh, I think he let go. I think mine let go. Oh, no, he's on. He's on. No, it's tiny. What is this? Is it an eel? What is that? Something's on it. Feels weird. I think it's an eel. What do we got here? I don't know what this is, dude. Oh, it's a catfish. All right, all right, catfish. Nah, that's good. We good. We good. Oh, I'll oh, get that, dude. That's you. I don't know what's on there. Check that. All right, the old cat whiskers on here. There we go. All right, add it to the species list. Whew, channel cat. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Before you hurt me. Uh, I guess that's to be expected on the eel, right? Snakehead hunt number one has ended. Cody, how'd you feel about today, man? Well, we failed to hook up on a few key bites, but got a pretty big eel. Yeah, hey, that's your first. Uh, is that considered a fish? A eel's fish? I guess you consider it a fish. All right. Well, good job getting that giant ass yeah, eel. It was an honor fishing with you. <laughs> I appreciate it. And you said you're gonna come back with white perch, yeah. catching me snakeheads. Yeah. But guys, I'm gonna need some help in the comments section below. 
Help me catch these snakeheads. I've caught snakeheads on grass mats and frogs. I threw every bait you can imagine out here. This place gets a ton of pressure and these fish are huge. They're smart. Uh, I don't know how to catch them. If you have any ideas how to catch them out of here, comment in the comment section below because this hunting isn't over and I'm not sapping until I get my 10 pounder. <laughs>